3, what happened to this Nebuchadnezzar. And they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen. And seven times shall pass over thee, until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, <laughs> and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Wow. Yeah, because earlier Nebuchadnezzar was boasting. And that's a good example why we should not boast. You know, as it is written, let thy words be few. Okay? Let thy words be few. It is right here. The book of Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter. And the second verse, go right to the point. Be not rash with thy mouth. Nebuchadnezzar was rash with his mouth. And we can learn from that, brothers. We got to watch what we say. You know? <laughs> it is another example where Moses, he made a statement, and because of that, he wasn't able to enter into the promised land. He had to die and come back in the regeneration to enter. Just for one simple statement that he made, which was off. Basically, he was glorifying himself in that simple statement he made. So the, the scripture have said, be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thy heart, meaning your mind, be hasty to utter anything before the Heavenly Father. <coughs> for the Heavenly Father is in heaven, and thou upon earth, Therefore, let thy words be few. There you go. And we can learn from that, man. Got to watch that foolish pride. Now, again, let's get back to Nebuchadnezzar. Let's read 32 again. Daniel 4 and 32. And they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee, until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. And whether that kingdom be righteous or wicked, the Heavenly Father controls it. You know, everything is for the will of the Heavenly Father, whether it be wickedness or righteousness. He controls both, man. Anything that happens in this kingdom, the Heavenly Father controls it. Okay? It's of the will of the Heavenly Father. Once you understand that, you have great understanding of the Heavenly Father. Once you understand that the Heavenly Father creates both sides, controls both sides, as in good and evil, you have a great understanding of the Heavenly Father. Not too many people have that understanding. And that can only be revealed to you through the Heavenly Father himself. Yeah. Daniel 4 and 33. The same hour was the thing for the same hour. So one minute Nebuchadnezzar is boasting himself, talking about his great kingdom, how he built it, and he and it was built for his, the honor of his majesty. And at the same moment, the judgment was coming upon him. While he was saying what he was saying, the heavenly Father was going to work on him, turning him into a beast. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar, and he was driven from men, and did eat grass as oxen. <laughs> And his body, listen good, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven. Oh man, he must have looked miserable. Till his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers and his nails like bird's claws. The heavenly father turned that dude Nebuchadnezzar into a beast, a literal beast. But he can't create a homosexual to Zariac. You better humble yourself, man, Zariac. Okay? <laughs> so you, you gassed off that empty accolades and praises that you were getting. You gassed off that nonsense. You're like Nebuchadnezzar when Nebuchadnezzar was making that statement. Yeah, this great kingdom that I've built and it's for the honor of my majesty. And you see what happened to him. That's why the Lord said, we read, we read the scripture. A proud look. The first thing the Lord, the, the scripture tells you seven things that he hates. The, the first thing mentioned is a proud look. 
Let's read the 34th verse. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me. So at the moment Nebuchadnezzar was boasting himself, the Lord took away his understanding. And that's why, again, and I, I'm going to keep saying it in this lesson, that's why Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai must be feared. Because Yahweh, Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai can give you understanding, but they can take it away. As quick as they can give it to you, they can take it away. That's why Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai must be feared. That's why we always got to maintain humility. That's why we always got to be humble before the great power of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai. That's just being smart. We got to watch what we say. We should not be rash with our mouth like we read in Ecclesiastes. <laughs> anyway, at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me, and I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him. So Nebuchadnezzar had character. See, that's the difference between the other nations and Esau, Edom. Esau, Edom wouldn't do that. Well, Antiochus tried to do it. I got to correct myself. He tried to do it, but the Heavenly Father didn't accept it. Antiochus, all the wickedness that he did, which the Heavenly Father created him to do that wickedness, he tried to turn around and worship the Heavenly Father, and the Heavenly Father wasn't having it. The Heavenly Father didn't show uh, Antiochus any mercy for all the wicked acts that he did. Anyway, reading on. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the Most High, and praised and honored him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, <laughs> and he doeth according to his will. Oh, man. Let me read that again. And whether it be righteous or wicked, the Heavenly Father doeth according to His will. It's His show. It's His movie. And He's the sole director. It ain't Him and Satan directing. No. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is the sole director in this movie. And everybody else is His, uh, um, is his uh, employees. He's the employer. And everybody else is his employees. Okay? <laughs> and all the inhabitants of the earth are rep reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his, his will in the army of heaven. <laughs> oh, man. That's powerful. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar said this? Wow. <laughs> he really, that, those days of him being a beast in the field really sharpened up. His, his understanding, didn't it? Because he, he was dropping it. Uh, let's read that again. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. Ooh, he doeth according to his will among the inhabitants of the earth. Pizariac. Pizariac believes that there are certain things the Heavenly Father don't control. Your understanding is, is very low, my man. But that's what you get. You want to be a, a master debater? You want to be a... You should have kept your eyes single. See, Great Millstone GMS would have taught you how to keep your eyes single. Because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, is working with us, man. Begin with Elder Apostle on down. And among the inhabitants of the earth... And, and none can say, or none can stay his hand, or say unto him, what doest thou? Yeah, whether it be good or evil. Who can say to the Heavenly Father, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? He's doing it because he's the Heavenly Father. He can do what he want to do. And, no, and none of us mere mortals can counsel the Heavenly Father on what to do, man. He does what he wants to do. Okay. At the same time, my reason returned unto me for the glory of my kingdom, my honor and brightness returned. See, so the heavenly Father had mercy on Nebuchadnezzar, but he may he proved this point. 
and my counselors and my Lord sought unto me, and I was established in my kingdom, and excellent majesty was added unto me. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven, all whose works are truth. All whose works are truth. Wait a minute. The heavenly father just put a reprobate spirit on Nebuchadnezzar and turned him into a beast. But yet Nebuchadnezzar humbled himself and said, look, all whose works are truth. So even when the heavenly father does evil, it's truth. <laughs> Check that out, man. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven, all whose works are truth, and his ways judgment, and those that walk in pride he is able to abase. Ooh. Wow. So let that be a lesson to all of us, man, to watch that pride, watch that rash mouth. The heavenly Father turned Nebuchadnezzar into a beast, but boy, great understanding was extracted from that. Okay? All the works of the Heavenly Father are in righteousness, whether it be good or evil. Check that out, man. All right, hopefully you brothers were edified by this lesson, and so on to the next one.